Okay, what's up guys? This is part two of the video. Sorry, I had I got cut off. But um, wanted to finish, you know, with the rest of the uh, cars that came back. Uh, last one I showed was the 91 Bowman uh, Chipper Jones that totally bombed as a five. And I mean, I really don't understand how this came so low. There's no specks or stains, the centering, there's no creases, nothing. It, it looks like it should be a 10, maybe a 9 to go that low. I mean, I have cards that are, like, I have a 68 tops bench rookie that's a 5. With some obvious visible flaws because it's a 5. I also have some 51 Bowmans that are 5s, 5.5s, that have some visible flaws. You know, either off-center or one of the corners is soft or something, dinged sides. This has no major visible flaws unless you look at it under a microscope and they give it a 5 is a joke. But anyway, all right, enough of my venting. <clears throat> I'm going to move on to the next one. Let's move the bag well out of the way. Next up is a 92 Tops. Um... Derek Jeter, that I gave a 9, and it came back a 9, so that's cool. He's not part of the 300 greatest cars of the 20th century. Of course, that's his 93 SP, but this is the only Jeter rookie I have, and I, I just had to get it graded. So that's cool. I'm fine with that. Next up is a 94 Collector's Choice Michael Jordan. That's part of the... 300 greatest cards of the 20th century. I gave it a 9. And it came back a gem mint 10. So that's cool. Finally, something the good since the Alomar. So that's cool. Um, that's going to go into the 300 greatest cards of the 20th century. Gem mint 10. And next up is a 2000 Tops Traded Miguel Cabrera. Not part of the 2000 or 300 greatest cards of the 20th century because that book was written in 1999 and this card came out in 2000. Um, but I wanted to get the Cabrera rookie graded and I gave it a 9. It's probably an 8 and it's an 8. I could see it. I, I actually, I honestly can't see this being an 8 because the top is a little off centered. But I'm okay with that. Um, this is the this and the Schmidt, the 81 Fleer Schmidt, and this Chipper Jones coming back so low as a five is retarded, but whatever. That that and the and the Schmidt. All right, now for the bad news. Let's see what cards that I submitted, and it was more than two. It's three. So let's see what it is. It's the 85 Donners Clemens, which I already submitted from the Atlantic City uh, National Convention, and it came back in eight. But I had another one, and I figured why not get a you know get a grade. And it says recolored, whatever. <laughs> recolored. Someone must have got a marker. I'm guessing. Wow. Recolored. Okay, well, that's interesting. I don't know what to say about that. Recolored. But I didn't care about this one. I just, I had an extra one. It was filler. It was basically a filler. I already have one in eight. The other one is, it's the A-Rod rookie. Oh, now I'm pissed. The 94 SP A-Rod rookie. They didn't grade it because of, once again, Recolored. <laughs> Is there someone out there with pens or markers that are coloring these things in or something? Okay. Recolored. All right. It took me a while to figure out what min size requirement was. <laughs> Now I got to read up on what recolored means. So two didn't get graded. I didn't care about the Clements because I have one. This is not. This doesn't make me too happy. The A Rod. 
And last is oh man, my seventy one top Steve Garvey. This is part of and the and the A Rod was part of the three hundred greatest cards. So now I gotta buy one, grade it. The seventy one top Steve Garvey did not get graded because just like the Griff, just like the Ripken, minimum size requirement, just like that. So there's your 71 tops. Let's take that out. They're saying, I guess, it doesn't meet the minimum size requirement. Card is, there's not a crease on it. No, sharp, sharp corners. I, I, would, I had this, what did I put this down as? I think I put it as a uh, six. Six would have been great. I mean, the top corner here has got a little bit of a white dot. Minimum size requirements. So, that's three didn't get graded. And the 81 Fleer Schmidt came back a six. And the 91 Bowman Chipper John. I, that's not, I, I'm not too thrilled about that. So, the A Rod and the, the Garvey and the Chipper Jones and the Schmidt, those are the four. That ticked me off. But overall, I mean, I submitted 31 cards. So if 4 out of 31 pissed me off and 27 I was fine with, overall, that's a good that's a good submission. So I know some people might be like, oh, you got hosed. That sucks. Not really, guys. I mean, if you submitted 31 cards and 27 came back what you expected and there were decent grades, that's, that's a good day, you know. So um, the Ripken, I'm going to resubmit. The Garvey, I'm going to resubmit because I don't believe that they're minimum size requirements. I think that's hokum. Uh, the A-Rod, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Recolored. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm probably going to have to buy one this week on that. Uh, and the Chipper Jones, I'm going to have to buy. I just uh, I don't understand that five. Don't understand it, but overall, I mean, the, the success stories here, you know, is obviously, uh, I mean, these three here are, are fine, you know, the eight, the ten on the Jordan, the nine on the Jeter, um, the eight point five on the Pudge, the nine on the Bagwell. Uh, this was a bad one, the Schmidt. The 8 on the Thomas, which I'm probably going to sell because I already have one in the 10. I'm fine with the Johnson. I'll probably end up selling this Griffey on the 7. So I'll sell the Thomas and the Griffey. I'm fine with the Randy Johnson. Uh, <coughs> fine with the Conseco. Fine with the Donner's Griffey. Fine with the Fleer Griffey. Very fine with the Alomar. So there's, there's more good than not good. Um, fine with the pocket. This I'll probably end up trading in to, with somebody. So that'll go on the sell list. Fine with the McGriff and the Fielder. Uh, fine with the Maze. Very fine with the Murphy. Fine with the Reigns. Very fine with the Gwyn. Very fine with that Mattingly. So... Those are all good. Fine with the Pal and the Ted Williams. They're fine. Totally fine with all of those. So basically, these three I didn't care about. They were just extra ones that I had that I'm probably now going to use to sell and use that to maybe get a Chipper Jones. <laughs> get a 91 Bowman Chipper Jones and uh, an SP A-Rod rookie or a Garvey. <laughs> But there you have it. Um, I'll be registering these now for the rest of today, putting them on my set registry, taking the pictures, putting them in my uh, perfect fit sleeves, which I have right here. So let's do one to kill some time. Let's get the Alomar rookie here. I'm bored. Might as well give you guys a show and put one in here. Here, voila, and there, 
And there you have it. So, awesome. Very cool. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I got more stuff coming in this week for the 300 Greatest Cards. I, I bought from Four Sharp Corners. I think I got about three more coming in this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Later.